Welcome to ShowMeTheCurry.com. I'm Hithal. I'm Anusha. And today we're going to be showing you how to make samosas. I think it's a very, very popular and very well-known appetizer. And uh, it's a fairly simple recipe. But today we're going to be making for two, people, two of us. So we're going to be making four samosas. But the recipe that you see on our website and on the screen is meant for four people. So uh, approximately about 12 samosas. So. Let's get started. Right. So to start off with, we're going to make the crust for the samosa. And for that, we're going to use one and a half cups of all-purpose flour or maida. And to that, we're going to add three quarters teaspoon salt and a quarter teaspoon of ajwain. We're going to mix this up. And we're going to mix in two tablespoons of oil. Now this is a really important part when you're making samosa crust is that you have to make sure that the oil is completely incorporated into the flour and basically if you run it through your hands like this then you can feel the little lumps of oil. You want to make sure all the lumps are gone and then every bit of the flour has some portion of the oil in it. And that gives you a nice pastry type crust. So while Hethel is doing that, what we have done is uh, just to give us a little head start we have soaked in one teaspoon of each of the salt, which is, which is uh, fennel seeds, and one teaspoon of whole coriander seeds. And over here we have uh, one and a half pounds of potatoes. We've boiled them and peeled them and we've just kind of cubed them so that's all prepped up and ready to go. Right. And our flour is ready now. It's completely coated with the oil. And to this we're going to add in one tablespoon of lemon juice and also a quarter cup plus two tablespoons of water. And we're gonna knead this into a nice soft dough. And once that's kneaded, we're going to just take a little bit of plastic wrap and just wrap it up in that so it doesn't dry up. We're going to let our dough rest for about 20 minutes. So while we have the dough resting, we've got this little time, we're going to start on the mixture or the filling. So we here, like we mentioned, we had already cut up the potatoes and cubed them. And what we're going to do is we're going to pre-mix all the spices and everything to it and then cook it. And over here we have a little pan and it's got uh, two tablespoons of oil already heating in it. So here's the, we've drained out the, the fennel seeds and the whole coriander seeds. I'm going to add it to this. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. Salt to taste. half teaspoon of uh, dry mango powder or amchur, half teaspoon of garam masala, half teaspoon of uh, sugar, cilantro and it's about 10 sprigs, one tablespoon of uh, minced ginger and green chili to taste. And we're going to drizzle some lime juice to taste. And we'll mix this up really well. Okay, this is ready. Yep. And you can actually taste it and make sure everything's okay. Mm. Good. Okay, our two tablespoons of oil are hot. We're going to add in half a teaspoon of uh, cumin seeds. Allow them to sizzle. Looks good. And one eighth teaspoon of uh, asafoetida. So. And half a cup of green peas now your potatoes are already cooked so we're gonna let the peas cook for about two minutes just to soften them up a little bit so we allowed them to cook for about a minute and look they look done you're gonna add in the, the potato mixture now and mix And now, 
since everything is cooked, we're just going to cook it uh, on, keep it on the flame till everything is heated all the way through. So it's been about 20 minutes and our dough has been resting all this time. Mm -hmm. And our, like we showed you the filling, it's already done and we've made sure it cools down to room temperature before you actually start filling it in. All right, and we're going to knead this dough one more time just to even it out. When you're making samosas or anything that you're going to fill, it's always a good idea to divide out your filling to how many ever you're making. So one doesn't get more filling than the next and people aren't jealous, you know, all <laughs> kinds of things like that. Yeah. So divide your dough out into how many samosas you want to make. Um, one portion of course will make two samosas. So divide that out, divide your filling out and then you can proceed. We also have already started heating up the oil and it's on a medium heat and it's going to be, it needs to be very well heated all the way through before we add the samosas into this oil. So I put a little bit of oil on my rolling pin and just smoothed it on there so it doesn't stick to our samosa dough. And we're going to roll this out pretty thin because um, this is all-purpose flour and um, it tends to be a little more elastic <laughs> than your normal wheat flour. So the more you stretch it out, it kind of goes back into the shape So to make it very thin. So once you have your uh, dough rolled out into like an oval shape, we're going to cut it down the center. And we're going to take the side and we're going to take just a little bit of plain water and lightly brush the edge with this. And we're going to overlap the other edge on top and give it a good pinch. Seal it shut. And once you do that, you have a little cone that we can stuff in now. And here we have divided the mixture as well, the filling. And we're going to put it in here like so. And try not to overstuff because you want this part to actually seal. And we're going to take our water again, a little bit of water, and put it around our edges. And then we're going to stretch this part. And seal it shut. and bend it here on the sides and you have your samosa ready to fry and while you're rolling the second one sometimes like I said the the meda or all-purpose flour is very elastic and the shape that you rolled out it reduces by quite a bit so you may have to roll it out again just a little bit so it's not so thick All right, the oil looks hot and my metal is carrying on I'm gonna go ahead and fry be careful, put it in very gently, do not splash it. Okay, they look done. We're going to pull them out to the side, take out all the excess oil, and we're going to put it on a paper towel. Alright, the samosas are done. They look fantastic. And of course, the best way to have samosas is with chutneys. Mm -hmm. So you have your tamarind chutney and your mint chutney. Or oh, actually, even with ketchup, you know. <laughs> samosas are so good by themselves. By themselves, absolutely. Yeah. I'm going to try this. I don't know about you, but I'm mm. ready for my samosa. <laughs> Alright. Mm. Nice. Excellent. Oh, delicious. Okay. Try it. I gotta dig in. You gotta try it. <laughs> I'm gonna have mine with chutney. Mm. So enjoy your samosas and join us again in another episode of showmethecurry.com. My turn to get back to her adding a pinch of spice to your life. <laughs>